People ask me all the time what hip replacements are made of and how they stay in place. So let me show you. First of all, you have two components to a hip replacement. You have the thigh side, which is the ball, the femur, and you have the socket, which is the acetabulum. When we go in and do a hip replacement, the first thing that we do is cut out the neck and the head of the femur, the diseased part of the bone, and that allows us to expose the socket. When we get to the socket, we first ream it out using a hemispherical reamer, and then we put in a titanium cup and a plastic insert made out of highly cross-linked polyethylene. And the way that this stays in place is the hole that we ream in the pelvis is slightly smaller than the actual socket itself. So when we put it in, it's jammed in with press fit, and then it has a porous surface on the back for the bone to grow into it. And that takes care of the socket side. On the thigh side, the femur, what we do is create a hole in the center of the bone that's perfectly shaped to fit your specific anatomy. And once we have the right shaped hole, we can take a titanium stem with a ceramic ball head on top of it, and that fits right down the middle of the bone. This also is made out of porous materials that your bone will go into, but you also can glue it in place with bone cement. It just depends on the patient. Once you have these parts in place, the ball goes into the socket, and the soft tissues around your hip hold it in place and allow you to move again. It's an amazing operation with incredible outcomes, and hopefully now you understand a little bit more about it.